carry belts. What makes a good gun belt and how do you choose one based on your needs? I'm not an expert on this, but all of these are belts that I have worn daily for several months each over the last few years, and I wanted to give you some of my thoughts and reflections on what worked for me and what didn't and why. Coming up next on GB Guns. So what makes a good belt? Well, obviously it needs to hold your pants up. And <laughs> that means that the weight of the gun you're carrying, be it an all metal gun like this Lionheart Regulus, or a small lightweight polymer frame like this Diamondback DB9, has an impact on the amount of support that your belt will need to provide. That's further amplified by your holster. Broad two clip holsters distribute the weight very evenly. Single uh, clip holsters, the kind like you see for appendix carry that tend to be a very small overall footprint of a holster, put all the weight on that clip. So depending on how heavy the gun is in the holster you're using, your belt need is gonna change. Additionally, the activity is going to dictate. Do you need something that's going to hold everything tight in place because you're going to be doing a lot of moving around or not? And I'll show you what to look for when you're considering belts. These two are fashion belts. Right? These are inexpensive reversible belts uh, to be black or brown meant just for basic clothing use. I believe they're plastic. They're not even a real leather, but they can fold. See how I can fold that in my hand? That is not going to be very supportive for a gun. And additionally, they're very slick, which means your holster could slide or your belt could slide on you within the holster and within the loops, adding to some discomfort. So these I do not recommend at all unless you absolutely have to. And if you're wearing clothing that requires such a belt, then uh, you wanna look for, while well, your carry gun's probably gonna be a lightweight single stack polymer frame in a good weight distributing holster. I've covered holsters in other videos, so I'm not gonna get on it. Sort of bridging the gap is this 511 belt. This is also a plastic belt, polymer. It is flexible, I can bend it. But an advantage that this belt has is it's got a bit of a curve built into it. Sorry my camera doesn't show much, but it has, um, well, a dip to the back, if you will. Maybe you can see it there, it's got a little bit of curve. It's not a straight belt. That means you don't have the pinching or bunching happening on your back as you carry, and that can help. However, a belt like that still is for a lightweight gun. These guys are the heavy duty belts that I've tried. This first one here is a steel reinforced multiple layer uh, of leather, basically a police duty belt. You can see I've worn it a long time, even lost one of the uh, pieces that holds it all together at some point. Who knows how that happened? But uh, this guy is very rigid. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like a gun belt or potentially a police belt, and uh, it's not very comfortable. It will support anything, but it's not too comfortable. And this slick underside, which makes it easy to doff and don, also, however, may, means that it can shift around on you uh, during movement. So not a bad option. Let's see if I can remember who made this. This is a gold leather, so definitely a, uh, a cop belt, if you will. Um, not ideal, but it works. This one here is made from buffalo hide. It's a very soft leather, incredibly comfortable. You see how well that, that bends. Got this from Raw Dog Holsters, and it is foldable, which means you need either a broad holster or a lighter weight gun, but incredibly comfortable to wear. And the fact that this underside is somewhat unfinished, or a rough cut, if you will, helps keep things in place. So this is a definitive step up from some of the other belts out there and has a lots of comfort. This is great for driving if you're spending a lot of time seated uh, or if you've got a lightweight gun and you're not gonna be doing a lot of movement. Now there are belts like this one. This is a new one from Everyday Belt Company. It comes from uh, Langdon Tactical. And uh, they've done a unique thing. It's very firm, two layers of scuba webbing up front. But in some areas, you can see the transition right here, it goes to soft and bendable. 
then uh, coming around to the other side we get firm again and what that does is it allows the belt to flex and move uh, works well for women or people with curvy shapes but still provides ample support where you're likely to be carrying a gun or spare mags another advantage to a system like this you see that buckle is very low profile and thin and we've got velcro for our fastening and that allows little bits of adjustment and it gives you a little more freedom than the other belts that I've shown and have here where you're stuck at one inch adjustments as far as tightness. So depending on your comfort level, uh, the clothing you're wearing and the gun, some belts that have just the one inch uh, standard punched holes don't quite work as well. But this is a great lightweight, very comfortable option. I would advise something like this for someone who's going to be very active or for someone with uh, a curvier shape to them. Next, and this has been my second favorite of all of them, this is from 1791 Gun Leather. You can see it's quite malleable, however, it doesn't want to fold at all. It's got good strength for supporting weight, but is flexible enough to be comfortable to wear, and that's one of the things that has made this a favorite of mine. This suede underside gives just enough friction to help keep the belt in place, makes it very comfortable. It's got a good looking buckle to it. Only downfall, if any, would be that you, you're stuck at these one inch increments. Other than that, this has been a great belt. And this last one, which has been become my favorite, surprisingly comfortable. This is the carbon carry belt uh, from Proper. And you can see the lines there, and I showed this in a video and a few pictures on Instagram and Facebook as I first started trying it out. This is actually made from conveyor belt, believe it or not. In fact, you can hear. That's the friction of this running, rubbing against itself because it has that super fine texture. I can get the camera to focus on the right part for us. Of a conveyor belt. So what does that mean? Well, that means this has incredible traction against your pants. In fact, doffing and donning this takes a little bit more work than a regular belt because it doesn't want to slide. You have to feed it loop by loop, especially on something like jeans. However, it doesn't scream gun belt. It just looks like it might be something a little different depending on the fashion uh, where you live and what's acceptable. I'm out here in Oregon, so people do weird things all the time. It doesn't necessarily look like a conveyor belt, but it most certainly is uh, several times reinforced and it will not bend at all. I can get a little bit of curvature out of it and that's it. And I've loved this, not only because it doesn't move much, but it has tons of support and I carry a double stack. So carrying a full size double stack, about this firm, the squeeze test is a good indicator for you, is providing ample, ample support. And then that, that traction on my pants means that it's not sliding around at all. And since that traction's on both sides, it's also applying to the clips. So some holster clips, reach over and we all like the steel ones because they're strong and they don't break like the plastic ones. However, the steel ones also tend to slide. Uh, this little bit of extra friction goes a long way in helping keeping everything exactly where you put it. Um, this has been surprisingly comfortable because it can bend. It's, it's more flexible than a steel lined heavy leather belt. Uh, and yet, because it won't buckle, if you will, it won't fold, uh, provides more support. So this has been an incredible gun belt. Uh, really pleased, my current favorite. The buckle, uh, it's nice, this roller helps. It uh, doesn't scream gun belt and provides ample, ample support. When would this belt not be good? Well, maybe uh, if you're wearing very thin pants, it might feel a bit too stiff or rigid. Uh, if you've got pants that don't have a lot of space, uh, above and below the belt loop, then these edges here, which are very solid, might dig into you and feel a little bit less comfortable. That's why you might want to go with something like that 1791 uh, leather belt. But for most applications that I use for, uh, this carbon carry belt from Proper has been incredible. So just a little bit, hopefully that helps explain uh, or give you some guidance in your search for a gun belt. 
I do not believe that there is one solution that's perfect for everyone and every application. Just wanted to give you a little bit of insight after uh, well, my last eight years of daily carry. Thanks for watching.